Chief Evan Bray says the Regina police gave this file extra scrutiny because of Kameo Capo's allegations of racism. But ultimately, the prosecution's division decided there isn't enough evidence to support an assault charge against the Canadian Tire Store employee. It was late July when Capo says he'd been shopping for a chainsaw. An employee accused him of stealing. Capo refused to leave the store and used his phone to record a video. physically assaulting me. No, for what? For what? In it, you can see the store employee repeatedly tell him to leave the store. At one point, the employee accused Capo of physically contacting him. At that point, it shows the employee becoming physical. The video shows the employee shoving Capo against a shelf and pushing him towards the exit. Capo filed a complaint with police. He says he was treated differently because he is Indigenous. You're going to be charged. When we have a very um, highly contentious or sensitive issue or a political issue or something where we want help in interpreting what the facts are, what the evidence is and coming up with a decision, we will send it to the prosecutors. So that's why we, we ultimately decided to utilize them in this case. Bray shared a few more pieces of information. He says there was never any surveillance video from inside the store. There were many interviews with witnesses. He wouldn't say whether those interviews revealed if Capo was in fact shoplifting. He does say that police would take into consideration whether Capo touched the store employee first. I'm sure it did for the prosecution. It was, it was part of our investigation for sure. Regina police and prosecutions met with Capo face to face to explain why no assault charges would be laid. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.